I'm Marty Coleman. I'm a big surgeon at OSC. I specialize in shoulder problems. I wanted to discuss a condition that commonly affects people, especially as they get older. Uh, it has had different names over the years. It used to be called tendonitis or bursitis or shoulder inflammation or rotator cuff syndrome. But it's been lumped together in what we call impingement syndrome. What that means is that the normal movement of the ball in your shoulder is supposed to have clearance of the bone above. But in some cases, there's a little bit too close a, a approximation so that now as the arm is moving, it bumps up against that bone and the material in between gets pinched or impinged upon. Now, we don't know why people have this uh, some more than others, but what they have in common is that the movement of the arm in certain positions creates pain for them. And this can become so severe that the scratching will eventually tear a hole in the rotator cuff. But there are many people out there who have chronic shoulder pain, and when you examine them, you discover that the, the signs of impingement are present. Now, typically, when people come in with this, we, we try to do things such as anti-inflammatories, uh, and uh, gentle exercise, maybe some physical therapy, but more and more we find that the treatment that's required for this is a cortisone injection. Now, people may hear horror stories about cortisone, but we find it's very effective in this context because we're putting a small needle into the shoulder, above the joint, we're injecting the material into the bursal area, and the bursa then is coated with this material, which makes it less inflamed, and I, my own feeling is that it probably reduces the thickness of the inflammation so that now the shoulder moves more effectively, it doesn't pinch anymore. So we have many people who come in with shoulder pain that they could not resolve on their own, and we give them a cortisone shot and they get better. Some are permanently better, some are temporarily better, but even that little bit of relief is a, is a relief for many of them. Now the latest device we have to make this easier and more accurate is a ultrasound machine. By putting an ultrasound machine on the shoulder as we're doing this injection, we can watch the needle go in to be sure we're in the right spot. Because it turns out if it's too high or too low, it doesn't work as well. If you're dead center in the bursa, uh, you, are, you tend to be more effective. And with the ultrasound device, we're able to watch the needle and watch the injection and be sure we're, where it belongs. We think our, our accuracy has improved, and we know that our results are better.